Anthony Spoonies love breakfast time, that's for sure. This is all time, Jasper. Look, he's going to still look for food for like 10 minutes, I swear. So the office is a bit of a mess. From uh, the desk situation last night. But um, I'm sure we'll get it all cleaned up today. guys hair and makeup is done I feel like I'm not super super happy with the curls I don't know they're just laying weird to me I think it's because I slept on wet hair so I guess it's my fault so today for makeup I literally just did concealer under my on my under eyes brows mascara and a little bit of blush um, with those dry patches from that NARS foundation that I was talking about from earlier this week um, I really think it's just my skin. I don't even think it's the foundation necessarily because today I used a uh, Maybelline concealer and it's one that I've used so many times and I've never had it like get cakey on me. But even today like around my nose it was getting all sorts of cakey in there. So I think maybe I just have really dry skin this winter. So I need to find a good moisturizer. So if you guys know like any good moisturizers or anything um, or anything that's really good for dry patches let a girl know <laughs> but anyway I am gonna head to that meeting today um, I'm not even gonna take my camera if I had a um, like a thingy where I could put the camera on the window and vlog in the car I would do that but I don't have that and I don't want to vlog while driving without that because dangerous so um i will see you guys after my nine hour meeting today hooray <laughs> one eternity later guys i'm home i'm home after a long day <laughs> all right jace is freaking out he wants inside <laughs> i don't know if you can hear that but he is pawing at the door like a mad dog come on then how are you, Jasper? You want inside too? Okay. See, Jasper's got to be on the lead. Sometimes this little rascal likes to jump the neighbor's fence and get in the neighbor's backyard. So we can't have that happening now, can we? Anyway, that class was long and boring and, in my opinion, unnecessary because they're trying to tell us we can have power over certain situations when we can't because ultimately it comes down to whatever the managers and higher up people want to do and I'm not going to mention what bank this is because some people who know me personally who are watching this video they'll know what bank it is because they know where I work but I mean I'm not going to mention what bank it is for those of you who don't know just for political reasons I suppose but wow they are amped. Okay, the dogs are amped and playing in the background, so if you hear a lot of background noise, that is what that is. Just ignore it, it's fine. Um, but they try to act like they're all obsessed about the customer and doing what's best for the customer and all this stuff, and then it's like, they start talking about how overdraft fees are equal to or comparable to the same amount of income a branch gets from loans. And so they're basically saying like, a good chunk of a branch's income comes from overdraft fees. And I'm like, I have a problem with that. Like that does not communicate that you're obsessed with the customer because this bank has an over, over $30 fee for overdraft. And not only that, there's always gonna be those customers that just cannot get out of the overdraft cycle like i see it all the time if we keep charging them over and over these huge fees how can we ever expect them to get back on their feet again if it's just fee after fee after fee after fee after fee like they're already having a hard enough time with their finances and we're just making it even harder for them i just that's why i don't understand overdraft fees but and so i don't know <laughs> they're just trying to act like they're all customer obsessed and really they're just bank obsessed like Today was just frustrating and like, I don't think I want to be in banking forever. I don't think it's for me because I actually do care about people. <laughs> I don't really care about business. Like I just, I care about people and I genuinely do want to do what's best for people. 
and sometimes it's gonna be waiving an overdraft fee, but nobody else sees it that way, I guess. Anyway, guys, I'm home. David is at a like a toy packaging thing um, for a nonprofit group in our area um, called Churches on the Streets. So they're packaging up some toys for that. Um, oh my gosh, guys, I have a story to tell you. So David told me today that yesterday he had to run to Lowe's for something um, for a side job that he does aside from the gym. And while he was at Lowe's, he said there was this girl kind of like looking at him, like staring at him like he like she kind of knew him or whatever and he didn't really recognize the girl and she came up to him and she said I think I know you were you the one that fostered patches and it was the girl that had adopted patches whenever patches got adopted I don't even know if I ever told you guys that in a vlog, but Patches did get adopted eventually. Um, for those of you who don't know, he was our foster dog a little while ago. Um, I know I got him on video a couple times before we fostered him. I never got him on video while fostering him, I don't, I don't think, but I did a couple times um, before we actually fostered him. And then um, when we were fostering him was actually when the fire happened and we had to like put him in like a temporary home while like we were trying to figure out where we were gonna live. Um, and yeah, but um, he did end up getting adopted and so David ran into the girl that, adopt him, that adopted him and she said he's doing so good and he like, they took him to um, like a dog training class and he already passed it like with flying colors. I guess like most dogs are really motivated by food but I guess he's really motivated by like a ball. So, um, which we already knew that. We already knew that he loved toys like that. So, um, but yeah, I guess he's just doing really good and it seems like, David said it seemed like she really, really loved him and like was just obsessed with him like how I am with my boys. Like she just genuinely was like a dog mom for him. And that just makes me so happy because he waited so long to find his forever family and now he finally found it. And it sounds like they're just perfect. So yeah, I just want to tell you guys that cause I knew he had been in a couple of vlogs. Um, it is like probably 6 p.m. And I haven't even gotten close to editing my vlog that's supposed to go up today. So it's probably going to be another late one. Like the one that went up yesterday went up at like 9 p.m. I think. <sighs> so that's probably what today's is going to be. Um, but you know, it's just life sometimes, unfortunately. It's so weird how sometimes like a full day in like a classroom just sitting down and not doing anything can drain you just as much as like a day of hard labor. You know, I'm exhausted after today. So I'm gonna edit. I really wanna color in my coloring book more, but editing really needs to come first. I'm like really talkative right now, I'm sorry. This is gonna be like the whole vlog footage for today. It's just me rambling at you guys, but you know, that's fine, right? This clip is 15 minutes long. This literally is gonna be the whole vlog for you guys. Oh my gosh, okay, well, anywho, I'm gonna edit. I'll update you if anything else happens tonight. It's currently almost 10 o'clock and I just finished editing my vlog. Yeah, so that one's gonna go up tomorrow instead of today. It should have gone up today. I'm gonna upload it tomorrow along with this one that I'm filming now, so. Day four will be up in the morning. You will have already seen that. Day five, which is this vlog, will be up in the evening, which, I mean, you're watching right now, so. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and sign off for tonight again. I'm sorry for the shorter vlog, um, but you know, adulthood comes with responsibilities, so some days are just gonna be like this. Uh, I do want to remind you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. And follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. All the links are down in the description box as per usual. <laughs> yeah, so that's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed Vlogmas Day 5. And I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>